Reef DVMs today coming at you with the goat barrel with a Premier One uh, heat lamp in it. Uh, we like this uh, lamp and we wanted to make a nice little structure for the goats. You know, you've seen these things online where people have done them and, you know, there's a few pictures on Instagram and Pinterest. But I thought I'd show you my daughter assembling one. Um, the Premier One light is kind of nice because basically its caging is so small that even if the, the bulb cracks or breaks, the glass stays within it. It's also nice because the animal can't, because of how deeply inset the heat lamp bulb is, can't really get to the heat lamp to break it very easily. It has a very strong, um, like, molded plastic cage around it. So basically we kind of took the barrel and um, designed it to, to fit our little lambs and goats. Then we marked out on the top where we wanted a hole for the heat lamp. Now a lot of people just put the heat lamps in these uh, without any worry of the plastic. But I found that these heat lamps get pretty hot and the heat comes up and of course it's contained by the barrel and I'm always worried about barn fires. So um, I'm having Anna here cut out a circle, basically the size of the heat lamp so you can go in and out with the heat lamp for the most part. And then we're taking a furnace duct um, uh, vent circle and a steel rod and we're punching some holes in these. And we're going to make it so that when most of the heat goes up, it hits metal instead of the um, plastic of the 55-gallon barrel. Uh, this to us is a lot safer. Um, this also allows us to very easily slip a rod out and remove the light for maintenance, which we like. And, of course, you know, it's just the way we are. We just feel it's the best way of building it. So this is kind of our own design. Um, Ann and I have worked on this. We're in the shop here, it's um, you know middle of January and it's cold out, so it's a good time to get one of these done. Um, we're actually doing a couple of them just so we have some more. So here she is putting the, the steel rod through. It works really perfect. We've got these couple of pieces of aluminum that we've um, added to the, the vent circle um, with some screws. And then we slide the, the metal piping across the top and through the light. And then we hook it in with some cotter pins for easy removal. And then we just take some um, uh, copper that's used for plumbing um, loops, and we're just going to screw that right down into the aluminum. One thing nice of working with aluminum, it's all easy, um, light material um, for her to work with. We zip tie it just to kind of keep things from rocking and rolling in there um, a little more. And then basically ready to plug it in. This is a view from the inside. This has got about um, a 250-watt um uh, splatter resistant uh, fleet farm heat lamp in it and it's ready to go so outside it's I don't know it's just shy of five degrees in the barn and then we're gonna let this run for probably about four or five hours and some hay and I'm um, show you what it's doing so here it is it's up and running um, I think it's been running for about maybe four or five hours um, the thermometer is inside on the top of the hay and as you can see it's so oh, 65 degrees so this heat lamp is able to bring it up quite a ways, um, probably like 50 degrees. It's a great project, folks. Um, the kids like doing it, and it really helps out the lambs and the goats. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this.